Hi guys, just a quick follow up on the uh, Phantom 1.5 series of videos that I've been doing. Uh, for those who are watching this for the first time and haven't watched the other videos, firstly, go and watch the other videos. Uh, in front of you at the moment, I have sat a Phantom version 1 with the upgrade board inside a Phantom 2 shell. Um, I've also soldered the CAN bus port into it um, via the, the, that's via the Sarah Worth um, method. Uh, that's again. There's a video for that. Um, so yeah. So the final part to uh, to all of this, I've been playing around with various different connectors, so I could use the Phantom 2 battery and a standard LiPo. Uh, today I received the DJI internal power connector, which is this chap here. That is what uh, Phantom 2 normally has involved uh, inside it. It's already uh, fitted inside of Phantom 2. Uh, what I've done is I've spliced into the soldering at the back an XT60 connector um, and basically what that means is that if the Phantom 2 battery is plugged into these pins it powers the um, powers the board if I wanted to use a standard LiPo I can then use this they both go to the same place same voltage um, and then when I don't want to use the XT60 all I've got to do is just prop it on top here you can see there's quite a bit of space above between the main board so I just pop it up like that and then I can grab my Phantom 2 battery, slide it in, it pushes it out of the way, click, and in. So, um, so yeah, so that's the simplicity of it. I'll take that out, let's see. Um, I've deliberately not used a lot of cable. I actually use the stock cable that comes with this connector. I use the stock cable to plug to the XT60 and then I soldered um, to the main board from that. Um, let me just grab the camera and show you a little bit more of where that all goes. So the power actually connects at this side of the board on the upgrade board. I've routed the cable around. I've then cable tied it just to the back of the board there. It comes in, it goes past the little standoff there, goes down and if we can just zoom in slightly uh, that's the cables there, so that's the back of the um, of the internal power connector. So main battery cable is that big red one there, and then the XT61 is looping off it. Likewise, that's the earth side of it. You've got to be very careful when you're soldering the XT60 earth to it, and also the other cable to be honest, uh, because otherwise what will happen is it will stick backwards. You need to do a sort of a 90 degree angle on the um, on the XT60 connector, and you also need to make sure that the um, that the earth connector to the main board doesn't get in the way of all of these plastic standoffs. So uh, just just be a bit careful with it. It's um, you know it's one of those things you've just got to think it through. Um, but yeah, but that's the um, that's the simplicity of it, and that that costs about seven pounds. That internal power connector. I purchased mine from RC Geeks. They had them in stock. Um, I think Build Your Own Drone in England are going to start getting them in stock. I've advised Mike that this is a modification that might get popular. Um, so yeah, um, tune into my uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to be showing people the new Phantom 2 FPV under tray that I've created on Shapeways as well as the battery door on a video coming soon. So uh, so yeah, subscribe and you'll see some more videos on this series.